Hello my crafty friends. Today I have this adorable safari animal gift box to share with you. When it opens, the little monkey pops right up and there's room inside to add your gift. First I need to tell you this was not my original idea. I saw this on Mixed Up Crafts with Samantha. She made her box from scratch and they added a fairy. I decided to use the Elizabeth Craft Designs Safari Animals along with a box from my stash. So this is an upcycle project. This box came from a souvenir that I bought at the Olympic National Park in Washington State a few years ago. I like using this kind of box because of the space that it has in the lid. You can see that it's recessed. And then you also, for this project, need one that has the little lip that the box lid closes over. I'm not going to give measurements for this project because you probably don't have a box exactly the same size as this one in your stash. I made my first panel to fit on the inside of the lid and stamped it with one of the Safari Saying stamp. For the outside, I cut a panel the size I needed and then cut an oval in it using the Garden Notes Frame It die. I've already assembled my giraffe and zebra. I only needed their head and neck for this project. I cut my panels for the inside of the box using some great moto scrap paper and then assembled my lion and monkey. The final item needed is a strip of acetate about a half an inch wide. I'm sorry that it's so difficult to see. I have left the protective coating on it so you would be able to see it a little bit better. The length of the acetate strip should be the depth of the box plus the height of the lid when the box is open at a 45 degree angle. So when the box is closed, the strip is pushed forward. I'm going to speed up the video a bit here so that you're not bored silly watching me glue things inside of a box. I'm going to add the bottom and three sides. I like using liquid glue for this process because it gives me a few seconds to adjust the panels if I need to. I'm not going to add the final panel until after we've added our monkey on the acrylic strip. That way all of that will be covered up from the inside. Now I'm going to add my stamped panel and we're ready for our cute little lion. I'm adding some foam tape to the back of the lion so that he'll pop out from the lid. I nearly placed the lion in the lid a little bit too high, but then realized that I needed to lower it. This way there's space at the top and the bottom so that when the lid closes, it doesn't crush your die cut. I ended up cutting a little grass strip from the tree die. I didn't like the way the lion appeared to be floating in the air, so let's just ground him. Okay, that's better. Now it's time for a little monkey business. I've attached a piece of Elizabeth Craft Design double-sided adhesive to the back of the monkey, and I'm going to attach him to one end of the acrylic strip. I didn't want the top of the die cut to exceed the top of the acetate strip, so I placed it slightly below. This way, when the box cl lid closes, it won't crush the die cut. Now I've added adhesive to the bottom of the acetate strip on the back side. After removing the liner, I'm going to place it in the box in the position that I want my monkey. I think I want it just about here, but I'm going to check to make sure that all of the monkey's feet and tail fit in the box when the lid is closed. Okay, that makes me happy. Now I'm going to add that final panel on the inside of the box. This will cover up the acrylic strip. Okay, that little guy just couldn't get any cuter. Everything appears to be working properly, so it's time to finish the outside. So now I'm going to take my outside panel, my cute little giraffe, and the zebra, and adjust them the way I think they'll look cute. On the zebra, I left an opening between his chin 
and his body so that I could place him in the oval and make him appear to be sticking his head through there. Once I have everything arranged the way I like it, I'm going to place a little dot of glue underneath just to hold him in place. Now I'm going to add a printed panel on the back that is slightly smaller. I'm going to put the adhesive on the front side and lay the larger panel over the top so the pattern shows through the window. Now it's time for the final step and that's adding the panel to the box lid. I cut the panel precisely the size I needed it and I'm sorry that it's a little off camera here but I needed to get over it and I'll be lucky if my head doesn't get in the camera shot. I'm going to add a little piece of foam behind the giraffe head right here so that his head appears to be sticking out of the oval. OMG, how cute is that? Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this project as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. I hope that you'll stop by my blog for more details on product information. I've linked all of that information below. Until next time, bye-bye.